We're going to pray now. As we do each week, we're going to begin by confessing the things that we've uh, said and thought and done this week that have not lived up to the way that God wants us to live and that we know that we should live deep down and receive God's forgiveness. Then we're going to pray the words that Jesus taught us to pray. And finally, I'm going to lead us in praying for our world this week. Let's begin. The words will be on the screen. Merciful God, we confess that this week we have sinned in what we have thought, said, done and not done. We've not loved you with our whole heart and mind and strength. We've not loved others as ourselves. In your mercy, forgive us, help us and show us what we should be so that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Well, if you've prayed those words and you've sincerely come to the Lord with the things that you've done wrong this week, then it's my blessing and privilege to be able to say to you that Almighty God forgive you and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Go in peace. And we're going to carry on praying now as we bring ourselves and our hearts and our lives to God in the way that Jesus taught us to pray. Again, the words will be on the screen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Finally, we're going to pray for our world now. For ourselves, for our neighbours, for our country and for the world as a whole. Let's pray. Our Father in heaven. Lord, we thank you that you are in heaven, Lord, that you are enthroned over all things, that there is nothing that you cannot bring us through. Lord, that you are able and powerful and strong to bring us through everything. Lord Jesus, we want to thank you that you return to your Father and you promised that through your Spirit we would be able to do whatever we needed to do to follow you. Lord, that you said that you would send your Spirit and that he would make us able to do even greater works than you had. Lord, we thank you that we've seen those words fulfilled. That over the last 2,000 years, the church and the cultures the church has transformed have healed more people, have dealt more into prayer, have dealt more into theology than was ever possible in the short years you were on the earth. And we want to pray that you would again give us strength now. Comfort those who are mourning, Lord. Comfort those who are afraid. Give faith to those who are doubting. Lord, we thank you that you do not send any doubter away, but you offer them comfort and faith. And we pray that you would give us strength and faith to face the future together. Lord, make us a people of hope and of courage. Lord, keep us from succumbing to fear and to anxiety. Lord, keep us from succumbing to illness and to the fear of the grave. Lord, we pray that in the midst of this, we might be a people who have hope that our God has overcome the grave. And Father, we want to pray for our society. We pray that you would push back the virus Lord, that you would extend the vaccination programs, that you give wisdom and power to those administering them. We thank you that we've seen uh, the rates beginning to come down in London and the South East in the last week. And we pray, Lord, that that would continue. We pray, Lord, that we would be completely able to go back to our normal lives, Lord, that coronavirus would come down to the level that we can live with it. And Lord, where we can flourish and enjoy life together again. We want to pray for all those going through hard times this morning. We pray that you would comfort them. And Lord, that you would lift their eyes in the midst of their darkness to the light of the world who shines in them. And Lord, we pray, Lord, for those who are working hard at this time to keep our society functioning. Lord, for those medics and doctors and nurses in hospital coping with the strain of the pressures on them. Lord, with a daily battle against an enemy they cannot see, but whose power seems to extend beyond their control. Lord, give them strength in their arms, in their legs. Give them uh, acuteness and sharpness in their minds. Give them hope in their hearts. Lord, help them to cope with the expectation placed on them unreasonably by a society that seeks far too often to control its own destiny. And Lord, we pray for our teachers and other key workers. Lord, that you would give them uh, wisdom, 
the, the skill, Lord, to know how to operate uh, the various electronic means they need to teach and to keep our children learning and connected with one another. And Lord, that you would give them endurance, Lord, that they would be able to cope with the fatigue of the daily grind in uh, producing this material. And Lord, we pray for the children who are suffering at this time, for students and teenagers and young children, Lord, cut off from their friends, not experiencing the life that they desired, Lord. Lord, the, the unwitting uh, uh, results of uh, a policy, Lord, that may be necessary to protect people's lives, but seems so hard to them. We pray that you would give them comfort. Lord, that you'd strengthen them, that they would know peace. Lord, that they would know uh, friendship with one another, Lord, even at a distance. And we pray for ourselves that you would make us vessels of peace and of courage and of hope, bringing joy and peace to others. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Please do stay with us as we hear a talk from the Bible.